All right, so this is just a quick tutorial on how to use MDD deformers between uh, Moto and Blender. So I'm going to start in Moto with this one. Um, so let's just create something really quick. I'm just going to create a sphere because that's easy. Um, I'm going to go up here to File Export As. Actually, first of all, I'm going to save this in Moto. Um, I'm going to call this, let's create a new folder, MDD. This is the model. OK, I'm going to export as wavefront OBJ. It's a two model. Yep, it's only geometry. Swap over here into default Blender scene. Um, now, if you don't have the MDD uh, exporter already enabled, what you need to do is go up to File, User Preferences, uh, go to Add-on, Search for MDD, and just click check mark there. I already have it enabled. Um, so right now we're going to actually import that OBJ. So I'm going to delete the default cube, import wavefront OBJ, navigate to where I just saved it. Moto does that off and on. It doesn't like to export. Let's try it one more time. To the model. All right, refresh. There it is. Uh, we want to split by object and group. Uh, forward is negative Z. Up is the Y up. That is correct. Okay, so we have our sphere. Uh, so I could animate this and it'll immediately, uh, in our export, we'll be able to see the results in Moto. So um, what we're going to do next, let's just do some simple stuff. So my eye, location, rotation, we're going to go a few frames forward, move it, rotate it, eye, location, rotation. Move it again. I location rotation. Okay. So if I go through the timeline here, it does simple animation. Okay. Um, so now what we need to do, we need to select the object that we're going to export the animation. In this case, it's just the sphere. So file, export, uh, the light wave point cache, the MDD. Um, I'm going to navigate to my folder again. Uh, I'm going to actually call this 4, sphere anim. Uh, we're at 24 frames a second. Now I could restrict the frame range. I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. Uh, ideally you would want to make this exactly to what you have your animation as because it has to export the point cache for every single frame. So, um, But since this is super simple, it won't really matter. So I'm going to export the MDD. I'm actually going to save the Blender file so I have it. This is anim. All right, so I'm going to pop back over here into Moto. I'm going to go into the Setup tab, and over here under Deformers, uh, we see the MDD file. So we have the sphere selected. I'm going to click the MDD, go to my folder. Uh, there's the, our animation MDD. Okay, and it sort of works. Um, unfortunately, the MDD exporter in Blender doesn't allow you to set a Y up axis so we have to do a couple things first of all it's inverted it's inside out um, so what we need to do is scale it uh, so you know you can the plus button the, the MDD influence and that's what this is uh, we need to scale it to negative one <clears throat> so that flips it uh, now we need to go into the spheres properties and change the X rotation to negative 90 um, and actually, we need to do Y is 180. Now, you can't really tell with the sphere because it, uh, it's the same all the way around. Um, but if you had something else, then you would definitely be able to tell. So it's already set up. If I go through the timeline, we see it do its thing. And that's it. Uh, we now have animation from Moto uh, into Blender. So I'm going to actually save this as a different scene. Um, 
this is 5 in him. Um, and if I wanted to, if you wanted to really see it, okay, I'm going to actually uh, just create something simple really quickly. Image, uh, armature, single bone. Uh, okay, and to get here, I want to clear the keyframes, clear the keyframes. Um, this is super simple, control P, no, nope, other way around. There we are. Armature to form with automatic weights. So now if I go into pose mode with the bone and I scale this on the Z, it'll squash it. Put it up. Animate this first. Scaling. And let's go a few frames forward. SC. I scaling. So we have the ball squash. Um, save this. We need to export the MDD again. Oops, I have to select the object first. File, export, MDD. Um, same stuff. And over here in Moto, all we have to do is click the MDD influence, and we can either reload all the MDD deformers or just this one. Since there's only one, we'll just load this one. Ta da! We now have a squashing ball. So, um, pretty simple to go back and forth between the two. Um, biggest point to remember is that the model in here has to be exactly the same um, as the one over in Blender. So what that means is if, is if I apply say a subdivision surface to this um, and export that it might work in this case but I've had problems with it before. If I reload the deformer, nope, yeah. So notice there are some errors here. Uh, it's definitely not supposed to do that. If I, oh. basically, because all an MDD file is is a is a point cache. It's just a bunch of points, and it's telling them where to go. Um, and if we change the amount of points over here in Blender, um, which is what the subsurface is doing. Um, then when we export the MDD, Modo's not really sure how to interpret that. So anytime you're exporting it, you just need to make sure to turn off the subsurface, then export um, as an MDD. Now if I reload it again, ta -da. it's perfect. 